Hello my scholars, this is my school channel and my name is Abiola. For this video lesson, we are going to study the topics permutation and combination. So, we are going to look at the definitions of permutation and combination. As well, we are going to consider several concepts you know, attached with these topics. You know, concepts like uh, permutation with or without repetition, uh, permutation regarding distinct and non-distinct objects, you know, linear permutation, circular permutation and so much more inclusive of combination. So, you don't want to miss this content. Do not go anywhere. Stay with us and we will be right back. Welcome back to my school YouTube channel. Right there, we are still working on the statistics. So we have permutations and combinations. So uh, let's look at some comparisons. So we have uh, permutation is regarded as the number of ways to arrange things. So when it comes to arrangement, when it comes to order, we are looking at permutation. Then on the flip side, we have combination, the number of ways to choose things. So this is about selection. You want to choose. You do not uh, care so much about order, right? So we see order matters right here. Order doesn't matter. All right. So we see another comparison. See, they have these are for lists, right? So you want to list things out. Probably um, you want to do a list, right? A list of um, books or stationery, right? For resumption. So that's where permutation comes in. Then we have combination. These are for groups. So you want to group things together, you know, like your animal kingdom, like your plant kingdom and the like. So let's move ahead to the next slide. So we still see uh, some kind of contrast here. So we have by definition, a combination is a grouping of outcome in which order does not matter. So you see grouping and order does not matter. So we can see a kind of general formula. So the number of combinations of n things chosen how at a time is found using this. So okay, I'm going to explain this as the video progresses. So we have an example here. How many pairs can be made from a group of six people? So pairs is talking about two, right, in a particular group. So we are looking at this. So Jean and Tom are the same pair as Tom and Jean are the same thing, so you can see order doesn't matter. So if uh, Jean comes before Tom or Tom comes before Jean, it doesn't matter when it comes to combination. So you can see this. So this symbol that looks like exclamation mark is called factorial, right? So we have six factorial over two factorial, six minus two factorial. Then we have this. So that is where we pull this from. I'm going to explain this as we move further in the video. Then let's come to permutation. So a permutation is an arrangement of outcome in which the order matters. So order counts order doesn't count okay so we have the general formula number of permutation of n things chosen are at a time is found using this particular formula so we have an example here six people are in a context how many ways can first and second place be awarded so we see that so we have gene first Tom second is different from Tom first and Jim second. So you can see so I uh, we are looking at who comes first is it, is it Jim or Tom or vice versa, uh, Tom first, then Jean. So we can see that. So we have this formula, six factorial over six minus two factorial, then we have this. All right, so move ahead uh, to the next slide. Yes, yeah, so more differences between uh, permutations and combinations. So uh, basically, this is just about um, vocabulary, right? So look at permutations, look at combinations. So it's about arranging people, arranging digits, arranging numbers, arranging alphabets, letters, colors, and so much more. So it's about selection of menu, you know, food, clothes, subject, teams. You know, that is basically just about selection and these are life um, applications right so you can see some keywords so when it comes to permutation when you see questions that actually come up with um, arrangement you know arrange things like that then when you see things like select choice we are actually referring to combination so the next slide please okay so we look at this permutations and combination so number of permutation order matters right of n things taken at we've seen this formula earlier right so number of combination order does not matter right of n things taken at a time okay so look at this this is just a further explanation to what we have here so number of different permutation of n objects where there are n repeated n one 
repeated items, you know, N2 repeated items. So, of course, it's, this is um, giving us hints that um, permutation can come in various expressions, right? So, we can have repetition, we can have um, without repetition, you know, we can have distinct, we can have non distinct, we can have linear and circular. So, we're going to do this together as we progress in this video. Okay, so we'll look at a table that actually runs a very nice contrast between. Uh, permutation and combination. So we can see here uh, order matters, repetition, and the formula. So this is for permutation, right? We know order matters, right? So in a situation where repetition is allowed, we can say yes, this is the formula that we are going to work with. Okay, so I'm going to explain this as we move ahead in the video. Then we see again permutation where repetition is not allowed. This is the formula we are going to use. We're going to have n factorial over n minus r factorial, right? We have this. Then for combination, repetition, where repetition is not allowed, this is the formula we just use. You can see this is the general formula that we saw earlier. Then where repetition is allowed or required, then we use this formula. Of course, I've prepared examples for us to better understand this concept. So let's move ahead to the next slide. So let's run through some fast facts. Okay, a permutation is an arrangement of objects in a specific order. So anytime you um, see permutation or you are presented with the word permutation, what should come to your mind always is about order, specific order. You know, order is very important. That is the baseline for permutation. Okay, so then we have again, when object, objects are arranged in a row, the permutation is referred to as linear permutation. So if you are saying things in a row, right, so that is a linear permutation. Then when we now have these objects arranged around a circle, right, in a circle, then that is what we refer to as circular permutation. Factorial, okay, so it means multiply by everything less than a number. So if I have one factorial, then I'm going to have um, a kind of series whereby I'm presenting things that is less than one. So if I have five factorial, that means I'll start doing a countdown like five times four times three times two times one. That is five factorial. If I have six factorial, that will be six times five times four times three times two times one. That is six factorial. So that's actually a descending order. I can actually run an, an ascending order whereby I start from the lowest number, lowest positive number possible. And that will be, so if I'm looking at three factorial, so I'm going to start from one, then 1 times 2 times 3. So 3 remains the highest number in the expression. So if I have 5 factorial, if I'm using the ascending order, I'm going to have 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times 5. Then let's pick up 7 factorial. That means I'm going to have 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times 5 times 6 times 7. So that is factorial for you. And of course, we know that 0 factorial is actually equals to 1. We're going to use this concept as we proceed in this video. The next slide. Okay, so just again, we have a permutation is an arrangement of objects in a specific order. This emphasis is very important. When it comes to permutation, order matters, order counts. Okay, so when objects are arranged in rows, we refer to this as linear permutation, as explained earlier. Then we can use this factorial notation to abbreviate this product. So like I mentioned, we have 4 factorial, and this is an expression in descending order. So where we have 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Right, so if I'm going to use it using the ascending order, that'll be one times two times three times four. Right, so if n is a positive integer, then the n factorial written as this, like your exclamation mark, right, is defined as follows. So this is what we have. So we are asked to note again that the value of zero factorial equals one. The next slide, okay? So, um, several kinds of Articles or materials will tell you that we have types of permutation, kinds of permutation, but this video just um, tries to cover as many as possible, right? So, a permutation, as mentioned, is an ordered arrangement of R objects chosen from N objects. So, uh, right here we have three types of permutation. Of course, we have more, but let's just walk around with these um, resources. So, we have the N objects are distinct, right? That is, they are different. Okay, and repetition is allowed. So there is a kind of permutation whereby the objects are distinct, right? And repetition is allowed. So we can talk about distinct and repeated permutation, right? Then we can also talk about distinct and non-repeated permutation, 
okay then we have here objects that are not distinct so we can talk about distant permutation and non-distant permutation so for distant permutation we can have repetition or without repetition you can see that now so let's move ahead to the next slide all right so we have others here so we have permutation with repetition so like i said earlier when we talk about distant permutations can be repeated or non-repeated so we have permutation formula the number of permutation of n objects then we have r of which i like that we have this so basically this is what you are going to have i'm going to use uh, examples to actually explain this concept so you are going to have n factoria over the object that are repeated right right under here then you get your solution this is very easy i promise you that the next slide all right so we then have permutations without repetition so look at an example how many ways can a b c d be ordered where only two letters are used but each can't be used twice so you are looking at an expression where there is no repetition so basically you see this what is the total number of letters we have one two three four that's what you have here so we are told that without repetition so you have used two out of four so you can see what we have here. so we have four factorial over two factorial so you recall that four factorial is actually four times three times two times one two factorial is two times one so this is what we have here so four times three we have 12 times two we have of 24 times one we have 24 two times one we have two then we divide this we have 12 so we have 12 ways to actually do this without repetition okay so the next slide good so we still have the circular and the ring permutation so we have the circular and the ring permutation so right here for the circular permutation we have n different objects can be arranged in circle right in this number of ways so basically if i have um, let me say six objects right I'm, I'm, I'm asked to arrange them in a circle just say six minus one so i have five factorial ways to actually do that so in the case whereby your arrangement is not just in a circle right you are looking at a ring arrangement right so this is now we now have this formula divided by two all right so probably like a bracelet you know we are asked to arrange the beads in a, bra in a bracelet so we are having a kind of ring arrangement so you divide whatever expression you have here for your circular divided by two then you get your solution we have examples prepared for this the next slide Okay, so still we have some presentation here. So we have um, example two. In how many ways can eight different charms be arranged on a circular bracelet? Hopefully this charm is for love, all right, or for goodwill. So we have a solution here. Using the ring permutation principle, there are, so basically if it's just a circular permutation, you just have your n minus one factorial. But now we have a ring formation, so we divide it by two. You know, it can be in clockwise or anticlockwise. So that is the consideration that we have right here so we have eight minus one that is seven factorial over two so seven factorial should be seven times six times five times four times three times two times one then divided by two so we have two thousand five hundred and twenty ways okay the next slide good so we have a comparison between the circular permutation and the linear permutation it's important that we examine the relationship that exists you know between them so we have five people are seated around a table so how do we do this that is basically five minus one right factorial that is what we have here so uh five around the table not a round table please this is around a table so this is a row or a linear permutation so we know the formula to use right here so we can see a circular permutation. so this says this set of people we know we have them as five so we can, we can see the ways we can arrange them you can see a coming first you can see B coming first, we can have C, D, you can see all of this. So there is only one circular permutation, but there are five corresponding linear ones. So you can see for a set with N members, so you can see that your linear permutation is actually equals to N times your circular permutation, right? So I'm going to use the example to explain this concept. You know, by the time we use uh, applications, this will come out clearer. So basically your circular permutation can also be presented as your linear permutation over the number of members that we have right there and we still amount to n minus one factorial all right so we still have a um, conditional permutation or permutation with restriction or without restriction so we are looking at permutation that has condition attached to it so look at this uh, instance so we have find all the permutations of the letters a b c d e f so if we count we have six 
letters, right? So if the consonants must remain together, so we can see that. Now, so there is a condition, there is a restriction. Okay, all consonants must come together. So right here we've packaged the consonants together. I mean, do we have? We have one, two, three, four. We see them right here. Okay, so now we have um, the consonants packed together, right? Then we have how many letters left? One, two. We have one, two letters left. So since we are treating all the consonants as one, so that will now amount for three, right? So number of consonants is one, two, three, four. We have it here. How many do we have? One, two, then the consonant packed together, we have three. So that is three times one times two, three times two times one, then we have this thing. This should give you your correct expression, right? So there are actually different ways to go about this based on the condition given. So we have the next slide. Okay, so we have example two. So we have two adults and um, three children, right? So look at the condition right here. The parents must sit together. So the parents must sit together. So right here, you are looking at five people all together, but there is a restriction, there is a condition. The parents must sit together. So if you look at this, we treat the parents as a group with two members. That is two factorial arrangements. Now, there are four things to arrange, you know, three children and one group of adults. Do you see that now? So just like we mentioned earlier, the parents are sitting together. This is what we have. So already we have three children, one, two, three, and the parents that we have treated as a single group so that is what amounted to four factorial so that will be four factorial times two factorial so recall that four factorial is four times three times two times one so let's do that together four times three that is twelve times two that is twenty four then we have two factorial that is two times one that is two two times twenty four that is forty eight do we see how the expression goes we have the next slide okay so we move uh, for combination so we can see this we have our combination here. So combination is just about selection, basically. So we have N, this is the size of the set, and this is what you have selected, right? So some expression can use letter R. We have it as letter K here, we are still good to go. So this is the permutation of the full set, you know, the entire size, okay? Then we have now a permutation of left behind set. This is what we have here, then the selected set. All right, so we're going to use example to actually explain this. We have the next slide right before us. Okay, so we have a um, combination formula. So earlier, we saw this formula. This is a formula that we use generally when there is no repetition, right? We have selected an object, so we are not repeating the object for use again. So this is what we have right here. So now look, look at your permutation without repetition. This is what you have. Then when you now have your combination with repetition, this is the formula that we should use, right? Under the right condition. Then we have with repetition, we use this right here so we have the next slide okay good so we just uh, prepared an example for us to actually see our combination with a uh, repetition looks like so example the number of possible combinations with repetition of three objects from five objects so what is the total number of objects that we have we have five right how do we want to combine them we have three to be repeated so we just slot this in of course we have example in the full video section all, all you need to do is to click on the link in the description below this is going to get you to the my school website right there you get to have access to your subscription and you get the full video lesson so do not go anywhere because i strongly desire to see in the next class and do not forget to hit the like button click on the subscribe button and always tap on bell notification for you to get informed immediately we upload the next video content just for you.